Hello, and welcome to the two-day anniversary of the podcast Too Long Didn't School, the show for those who wake up in the morning whose last thing they want to do is endlessly scroll through the newsfeed. This show aims to provide a quick and listenable hub for any day starting from January 20th, 2023 and onwards for noteworthy world events. Quickly be briefed on what happened in the world before heading off to work or school, or find out what happened in the world on any particular day. Those watching on YouTube can find sources to the news stories I consulted and can leave any suggestions for what may be added as addendums for the next episode. We start the events of January 21st, 2023 in the South American nation of Peru, home to the famous Machu Picchu landmark and Inca Trail. The country has been embroiled in political protests and crises since December of 2022, after the former president, Pedro Castillo, was ousted from power and arrested for attempting to dissolve the country's Congress and establish an emergency government, which many have likened to a quote-unquote self-coup to cement power. He was replaced with right-wing politician Dina Bullard. Left-wing supporters of Castillo began nationwide protests as a result, attempting to have Castillo released, Congress dissolved, and the Bullard government ousted from power, which some participants compared to an insurgency. The country of Peru is now declared in a state of emergency. And as of today, the government has announced an indefinite closure of the famous Machu Picchu, 15th century Incan Citadel and Inca Trail, among other locales, which has caused hundreds of foreign nationals and tourists to become stranded in the wake of several other transport link disruptions. Over the course of the protests, around 50 civilians and one police officer have been killed, along with over 600 injuries and nearly 200 arrests. In the wake of offenses in the Bakhmut area of Ukraine, Russian forces have also announced additional offenses in the Saporizhia region as well, though this also comes at the same time as RT, a media company owned by the Russian government, announced the closure of its branch in France after the French government's direction General du Trésor as part of a wider wave of sanctions by the authorities of the European Union on Russian-held assets. This closure, which affects a company that most often produces Russian propaganda, will lead to job losses to over 120 people. In other news, in the wake of Islamist insurgencies in Burkina Faso, as part of the broader insurgency across the Sahel in Africa, the Burkina Bay military junta has ordered French troops in the nation to withdraw within a month's time, likely due to growing perceptions that French military presence has done little to benefit the country's overall security. The commander of the Brazilian army, Julio Cesar de Arruda, has also been ousted from his position and replaced by Tomas Miguel Ribeiro Paiva in the aftermath of the January 8 attack on the country's capital by supporters of the former president, Jair Bolsonaro.